Hello. Hey guys, it's Emmy here at the Los Angeles offices of HollywoodLife.com, and here I am with Catherine McNamara. Hey guys. Clary Frey from Shadowhunters. Yes. Which season two premieres on Freeform on yes. January second. January second. It's coming up. Ooh. It's it's so Finally. funny because things the the holiday season has been going by so quickly. Mm -hmm. I just realized it's what twenty days at this point, I think, or oh, or less. It's, yeah. Um, it's like three weeks away. And it's yeah, it's three weeks away, and it's also three weeks till we. Basically, till we go back and start shooting again. Oh my god! Really? So yeah, we oh. we go back mid January to do the back ten. Oh, so, so, so that's um, what I'm saying because we like the wait was long. Like and, and yeah. just you only recently announced that there was going to be a season two. Mm -hmm. So to like now like like just to announce it and then we're getting it and then round two is coming. Like it's so exciting. It's all happened very quickly, but mm -hmm. it's been great. It's it, been a huge whirlwind, but um, but I love it. Yay! We love it too. We're so excited. I get to recap the show every week, so you guys should always oh, tune in fun. and see what we say about what we what our recap is. Yeah, but we love Shadowhunters. Before I forget, let me tweet out that we're live. Woo, guys! Um, live. That way, people know where to find y'all. Oh, for sure. No, we're we're so excited to see where everything goes. I mean, it left off on such a high note last season. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god! Like, and to wait, like, I mean, it's been almost a year. It has, and that's that's what we're slowly realizing. Like as we're shooting, because we started shooting last year in May, and we started shooting this year in July. So, you know, by the time we got done with maybe two episodes, we thought back and we went, "Wait a minute, we'd already done five, six episodes yeah. at this point last year." And it's mm -hmm. it's been such a uh, a whirlwind. But I'm really really yeah. excited for people to see this new season. So are we, and we've yeah. got so many questions. Oh. Fans have been asking questions like crazy, but to start off, greatest. I've got some of my own. Okay. Because I'm a fan and I need to know. Talk to me. Um, so the, all of the first season was trying to get your mom back. Yes. And very end, you finally have her and you're so happy to like see her and stuff, but realistically like having, not having your mom around, like kind of let you just kind of run around, like yeah. unsupervised, yeah. doing kind of whatever you do. Is that dynamic going to change now that your mom's back? Very much so. Really? And that's one of the, the biggest obstacles in the early part of the season for Clary is that her mom is back, which is great. She's accomplished that goal, but now, you know, her mom still sees her as the little girl that she was at the beginning of season one, and Clary's not that person anymore. She's grown up. She's starting to become an adult. She's becoming more of a shadow hunter. She's learned so much. She has a, a new maturity about her. But, you know, because her mom's a mom and has been in a coma for the last <laughs> month, um, thanks, Valentine, uh, she doesn't necessarily realize that. So yeah. getting her mother to see her as a shadow hunter, getting her mother to trust her in that way is a, a big challenge. And there's a lot of confrontation that goes into that. Although I will say, mm -hmm. there is a very, because she also, Jocelyn has her own agenda when it comes to Jason Valentine as well. Really? Yeah. So um, let me just put it this way. There is a family reunion at the end of episode <gasps> one. Oh my God. So that's soon. That's coming fast. Mm -hmm. So when we say family reunion, does that include her maybe brother, Jace? I'm just saying, the Morgensterns have a lot of issues to work out. Oh my god, I mean, obviously. Yeah. But <laughs> I, of course, like one of the biggest things, too, one of the biggest questions on everybody's mind is like, what the heck is going to happen now with Clary and Jace? Like, they were falling in love. I know. And now they might be siblings. Right. Like, well, how long do we have to wait for some kind of resolution or to know for sure what's like going on there? We're still waiting, and we've shot 10 episodes. But the thing yeah. is, there are, there's so much else happening mm -hmm. at this point in the story. And, you know, with Jace and Clary, they've been drawn to each other from day one. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, there's, there's so much else happening in this world that they have to set that aside. But that becomes a major driving force for Clary moving forward into the season is that Jace is in those clutch, in Valentine's clutches. And <laughs> Clary is the only other person who fully understands what it's like to find out that Valentine is your father and sort of the psyche that that can put you into and the dark path that that can take you down. And so Clary is desperate to get to Jace and is desperate to, to reunite with him and, and sort that out. For that reason, is, do you think that she and Alec will kind of put aside their little rivalry and work together and make that happen? Clary and Alec never really put aside their rivalry, let's be real. <laughs> what 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 fun would that yeah. world be if Clary <laughs> and Alec got along? Um, everybody lo loves their sass, including yeah. Matt Daddario and I. Um, but Clary and Alec do get closer this season. Clary and Isabel get closer this season because she doesn't have Jace 
as her guiding light in the shadow world, she needs someone who understands and someone to train her and teach her. And Alec and Isabel both take on that role. Oh, um, okay. The Alec and Clary get very close, uh, then something drastic happens that tears them apart. Oh no! Um, but ultimately, they become closer from it. Yay! Okay. Well, what about Simon then? Uh, Clary and Simon have a very interesting journey this season, at least, and I can only speak for the first 10. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what's happening in 11 mm -hmm. through 20, but Clary and Simon sort of took different paths in season one, and now that they're both firmly cemented in the shadow world, their paths are beginning to cross again, and they're, they're back together, solidified in this world as fledglings of sorts, mm -hmm. and kind of figuring things out. It's also Clary's fault that Simon's in the situation that he's in, not only being a vampire, but being kicked out of the clan, being kind of having nowhere to go. Yeah. And so they lean on each other in that sense, especially with, you know, they both have things that they're going through with their moms, and they both have all this that's happening to them. Um, and they definitely end up leaning on each other. They're, but, you know, relationships change. Yeah. And people grow, and people change, and you know Clary's starting to see a new side of Simon, like a romantic new side of Simon. Just or? he's he's coming into his own as a vampire, and he's starting to have more confidence and starting to become. He's growing up just like Clary's growing up. So because they're changing, their relationship is also going to change. Of course, mm -hmm. but naturally. Mm -hmm. um, are we going to meet anybody? Or I mean, I'm sure we're going to meet plenty of new characters this season. But is there any big ones? There are a couple. Um, we see Maya this season, which I don't know if you've read the books, but um, I've read enough spoilers. <laughs> yeah, but she's a, a fan favorite from the book. She's one of my favorite characters from the books, and um, she she throws a monkey wrench into a lot of things. She comes in like a hurricane force wind and <laughs> makes her mark on the shadow world. Um, but it's great. It's nice to have, in particular, with Clary's relationship with Luke and with Simon. Mm -hmm. She kind of throws something into things because she has a, a father-daughter relationship with Luke as well. And so there's suddenly someone else in Clary's life that yeah. plays that role with Luke, and she's busy dealing with other things. So. And then she also, she and Simon can relate to one another on the level of being downworlders and dealing with that. Mm -hmm. And that's something that Clary will never fully understand. And so there's that as well that kind <laughs> of, it gives Clary a lot of pause in certain situations. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Victor Aldertree, who we saw in one of the teaser trailers, mm -hmm. who um, is quite the interesting uh, new character. Well, we don't know, we don't know whose side he's on. Yeah. We don't know what he's going to bring to the story when we first meet him. And... Um, he is in the books, but he's, he's utilized in a different way in the series. And he certainly makes his mark on the story as well. He causes a lot of uh, shakeups. Oh my gosh, I yeah. can't wait to see you guys. You guys, you guys have to tune in to see what's going to happen. Please do. Um, so now I've got some fan questions. I love it. I'm so excited Talk about. to me. Because these fans are like, oh, they're so important. They're the questions. best. They really are. Um, so your fan, Sabina, uh, first of all, she loves you. She Hi, Sabina. To tell you that. Um, but she wants to know if you, as Kat, could mm -hmm. date any of the characters in the show, who you would go for. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> um, I don't know that I've ever thought about this. Uh, ooh, see, I don't know. I mean, I think everybody loves Simon, because mm -hmm. I think he's such like, a good guy yeah. and so well-intentioned, but dating a vampire might be difficult. True. Um, I, feel, I feel like with the fangs, there'd be the a lot fangs, of like can't go out during the day issues. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Sounds like there'd be so fun. that would be difficult. Although I'm a bit of a night owl anyway, so that wouldn't be so bad. Perfect. Um, it's hard for me to choose because I'm so close to it, and I'm so close to the guys yeah. that like. It means more than just being like, it's like ah, this character. <laughs> yeah, and it's like my brothers also. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um. So your fan Anne wants to know if you could give Clary any advice for this this whole process, what would it be? I, yes, I would love to give Clary some advice. Clary, <laughs> darling, please listen to people. People are giving you good advice. People are trying to help you. And I know, this is what I love about Clary. She's so well-intentioned. She has a heart of gold, and all she wants to do is do the right thing. And she thinks she knows what to do. She really does. Every mm -hmm. time she does something, she's like, this is what I have to do. This is the right thing to do. And this is going to fix everything. Well. Sometimes, you know, Clary's still a newbie to the shadow world. Sometimes she doesn't understand things. Yeah. Sometimes she doesn't do things quite right. Sometimes she doesn't think things all the way through. And so, it's, you know, it's very similar to all of us when we're growing up and we're trying to figure out how life works. We make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Oh, well, she'll, 
it, it always seems to kind of work out. Like it seems to, like in a roundabout way. Like it comes out how it's like supposed to. It does, thanks to all of the other characters <laughs> yeah, that like, follow <laughs> behind her and clean up her messes. No, but that's something I love about Clary this year, this season in particular, is because she knows a bit more and because she has learned so much, she is able to handle a lot of situations on her own now. Oh, she takes charge. She really takes action and. Uh, is is her own hero sometimes. I love that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's like blossoming into this like woman. I love she that. is. She's got a long way to go, but <laughs> she's growing. Um, so at Cats Dominic wants to know uh, what your favorite part of Clary's arc this season will be. Mm. For me personally, ooh, ooh. <laughs> see the more I think about it, I think I think my favorite part is coming. Um, but my favorite part so far has been, ooh. <laughs> It's been so many great things because they really do push us outside of our mm -hmm. comfort zones this season, and they push these characters into situations um, that you don't see in the books. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of twists that don't happen in the books. There's a lot of very, very new, different, shocking things that happen this season. Um, episodes four and five are really rough for Clary. Oh. Like, really rough, and that was fun. Um, <laughs> episode nine was very fun, also a very rough mm -hmm. emotional episode for Clary. Uh, I, uh, Clary has a lot more skills this year as a shadow hunter, so I get to fight a lot more. I get to Yay. have actual legitimate fight scenes mm -hmm. instead of running and getting pushed out of the way. I'm running <laughs> into battle instead of away from it. Um, so that's fun. That I've really enjoyed. And we have an amazing, amazing stunt team that uh, is new on the show this year. And they are... Um, the, the guys who head up the team are masters of martial arts in and of themselves. Oh, wow. And so they, like world champions of martial arts. Oh my God. And so they, uh, they're teaching us the arts themselves and then taking those and applying those to the choreography. So oh, not cool. only are we learning the specific fights, but we're learning these martial arts that are, are just increasing our skill levels on top oh, wow. of that. And it's, it's a marked difference. That sounds amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to see how that pans out on camera. I'm sure excited. it makes a huge difference. Yeah, I'm excited. And I already thought it looked cool like last season. Oh, so well, to see that you. like go up another level would be insane. Well, the entire show has more of a sense of brutality this mm -hmm. season. There's we're allowed to do more violence and we're allowed to push the show to that level and Sometimes we'll be reading scripts and we're like, wait, do we actually get to do this? Yeah. Is it really going to be this dark? Because there has been awesome. talk that it's got darker. It's so, Quite a I mean, bit so. That's what we were wondering what that meant. And yeah. we talked to um, Matt and... Uh, um, Alberta? Oh, yes. Blanking. It's all right. Um, yeah, we talked to them last week and mm -hmm. they said that it wasn't like darker in the sense, like, I mean, it was already dark to begin with, but it wasn't right. darker in the sense that it was like devastating or depressing, just that it was like, more no, like... It, the way we've all been describing it is that it's it's grounded more in a sense of reality, and bringing in reality brings in that harshness and brings in, you know, the dangers are real. This these are life threatening situations. These the, it's an impending apocalypse, and as such, we raise the stakes to that level where things happen that things happen that are devastating. But what I you know what counters that are characters like Clary and characters like Simon, who are these lights and. You know, Clary, even though all these awful things happen to her and all these <laughs> terrible things and horror-based things are happening in the world, there's demons, there's Valentine, all of this is going on, she always has this little ember of hope and this undying sort of uh, determination that everything is going to be okay and everything's going to work out in the end. And that, that sort of counters that darkness. I love that. Yeah. That's so cute. Um, Valerie wants to know if Dominic has pranked anybody on set yet. He season. has, yeah. The pranks have not been as prevalent as last year. <laughs> um, thank goodness. No, they're fun. But uh, <laughs> he, he still jumps out and scares me all the time. Oh my God. Which, you know, that is what it is. I'm used to it by now. It provides comic relief and entertainment for the, for the crew and the cast. Uh, but he did prank Alberto pretty well this year, which was fun. Oh, my gosh. It was what fun. What did he do? Uh, he took a bunch of pictures and put them all over Alberto's trailer, everywhere, <laughs> like in the toilet seat, in the closet, oh in the jacket, God. on the ceiling, on the floor, inside the screen. Like, it was everywhere. It took so him, like, 40 effort. minutes to put all of this up. <laughs> Um, I love it. But it was great. It's, it's always fun. You know, that's yeah. what's so great about having a cast where we're close is because we're close enough that we can mess around a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so, what is, what is your dream role? Like, apart from Shadowhunters, any role ever in history, like, what is, like, that's, like, that's why I want to be an actress, like. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> see, that's what I love about being an actress mm -hmm. is that um, I can kind of be, like, a shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. I can be a chameleon of sorts, and I get to do so many different things. Um, I would love to 
go into the Marvel world and do something. Oh, wow. I can see that. That yeah. I would be very excited to do. Um, so that I would love to do. I'd love to do some kind of... I, I'm a huge Tom Stoppard fan. Um, there's a play called Arcadia that I've been dying to do forever. So I'd love to do that. Um, oh, God, there's so many things I want to <laughs> do. But that's, that's what I love about this industry yeah. is there's constant opportunities for that. I want to do a David O. Russell film. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love his films. I'm dying to work with him. Um, I think the list goes on. I could, I could continue. Give me a corset and a hoop skirt. Yeah. I want to do a period piece one of these days. I'll be happy oh with any God, of that. Oh my God, that would be amazing. I can't wait yeah. to see just like everywhere your career takes you because you're like amazing. Oh, thank you. But, um, so, okay, the holidays are coming. Yes. So let's do like a speed round of like holiday questions. You ready? Right, I'm so okay. ready. Let's okay. go. Let's do this. Um, plans for Christmas? I'm staying here with family. I'm hosting. Huh. Hosting? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you big, big on cooking? Yes. I, well, I, I bake. Um, so I just spent the last week like baking oh everything. Oh my gosh. What's your like signature? Dessert? I use a lot of my great grandmother's recipes. Um, I've gotten really good at oatmeal scotchies lately. Ooh, yeah. Fancy. I love, I love butterscotch. <laughs> um, what's your number one, like what you want on your Christmas list? I want a coloring book. Is that bad? Really? No, that's I, like people are into that right yeah, now. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things to do. I'm, I'm, yeah, we're. I don't know. My family doesn't do a ton of like gift exchange. We just we don't see each other yeah. enough, so we just spend time together and Aww. eat food and watch movies. Love but I, I love coloring while watching Christmas movies. It's, it's sort of nostalgic. Aww. I don't know. I revert so to cute. I revert to a childlike state at the holidays. Okay. I love that. <laughs> um, and speaking of Christmas movies, what's your favorite? Oh, I mean, I love all of the like the claymation. Classic yeah, holiday Santa Claus films. Coming to town, I love like Elf, um, but I think my all-time favorite is probably White Christmas mm, with uh, classic. yeah, with Bing Crosby and oh. all those folks. I love it. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite holiday cocktail? Holiday cocktail. Mm. You, you're 21 now. I know. So I'm trying to think. Coming up your first. I haven't. Play. I haven't really experimented with many cocktails. <laughs> I. Uh, I'm, I kind of, I don't know. I or just drinks in general. Be like, yeah, go, right? Like no, scotch some... neat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hol everything's holiday if you want it to be. Yeah, okay. right? I'll warm me up at the holidays. Um, and last but not least, your go-to holiday hair and makeup. I always think it's fun at the holidays to get to play a little bit, be a little more festive, because it's the holidays and why not. So I love playing with shimmer when it comes to eyeshadow. I love playing with bold, dark lips. Mm -hmm. That's been my new favorite thing in the last love year. Because I, you know, on the show I wear the same makeup every day and it's very like a light lip and all of this. So sometimes when we're going out at night yeah. in Toronto, I'll just throw on some purple lipstick or some yeah. red lipstick. I'm like, all right, let's go. Party time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's, it's, so there's something about lipstick that I've, I love. Mm -hmm. It's just because you must put together. If you have no other makeup on and you just throw on some lipstick, you like immediately look like you, you're done. Like, lipstick fixes everything, really let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is <laughs> Thank so you. great. Thank you. It's so such excited. a pleasure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in January 2nd. We've got an 8 p.m. freeform. Watch Shadow Hunter season two. Bye. Bye.